scientific thinking does not happen in isolation and especially not in our modern world there is so much happening in science and technology that um, if you do not communicate with others you are missing most of what is happening so I am Patrick de Wilde uh, I've been attached to TUM for many years in different circumstances it makes much more sense to organize the multidisciplinary get gets together around universities actually the name university already says that it tries to bring pe people together with universal knowledge if you want and especially bringing them together so that uh, they can easily communicate their ideas work with each other and um, interchange Whatever people do, they need other people to, for example, apply uh, your ideas. There is always signal processing somewhere involved. So you can have nice ideas in signal processing. If you do not connect up with the people of the other field, your ideas will not be used. Or you will not even have uh, the motivation to develop the right ideas. So having this network here, especially in the Institute already, uh, puts you in contact with all these people uh, who can strongly influence your own thinking and vice versa. A, un a university must have a keen strategy for its future science development, by which I do not necessarily mean that they have to choose fields. Maybe they don't have to choose fields at all. They have to choose people and extremely good people at that. Our institute is very much involved in that process. We are a people-based institute. We select fellows. Uh, we try to put together groups of people, often multidisciplinary, connecting top research groups at TUM with top scientists abroad for long-term collaborations. As I said, you need a future and you need a scientific future. You, you have to be forward-thinking. I mean, you have to create a future. The, the future does not happen by itself.